Okay, this video is going to be about the snowman. So you want to build a snowman? No, no, no. Do you want to build a snowman? No, no. I'm a teacher, so I'm not a singer. But I'm getting a lot of questions about the snowman, and I've seen a lot of HVAC instructors uh, make something similar to this. Uh, pretty much what it is, is it's the undercharged refrigeration unit that they've taken the coil, and instead of making a coil, when they started, we're pretty much getting it from these water coolers, and the reservoir's been splitting when they freeze the water. Thermostat usually goes bad, keeps the compressor on, and the reservoir gets too cold, causes the water inside the pipes to freeze, or the water in the reservoir to freeze, and it splits it open. So we don't generally use it anymore. And then when we get it, let's see if this is unlocked. We get the coil, and it looks something like this, right in here. So in order to make the snowman, let me see if I can throw that up here. All right, so instead of a coil like this for air conditioning, they're using a, just a tube wrapped around a canister to cool the water for the water cooler. And if you wanted to change it over to a snowman, you need to figure out, you wanna try and match the length of that tube with the, the pipe that you're using for the snowman. So you could use that using a formula, pi times radius square for the circumference, and then uh, take it at measurement and figure out how the length, how much the length of copper tubing you need. So here's one that they've taken the parts and they've converted it uh, where they just put the condenser and the compressor on one side and then the metering device is actually for this one a cap tube. And we left that the exact length it was for the water cooler because we're matching really everything instead of it wrapped around the water reservoir, it's just open to air. So what's happening here is the moisture from the air condenses around the pipe and we're running this, believe it or not, just a little bit under charge, but there's still at least one degree of superheat going back to the compressor. And with the superheat, we guarantee that no liquid is gonna slug that cylinder or flood back into the compressor. Now the difference between flooding and slugging, flooded is where the refrigerant liquid is getting back to the compressor. Even though I see a big old ice ball there, there's still a degree of superheat, so it's just below freezing. It's not really doing anything with the liquid. But the slugging is when it actually gets into the cylinder and the compressor piston tries to pump that liquid or compress that liquid, it can't do it, and that slugs and slams into the valves and the piston. For the if you wanted to make one of these, they just soft soldered some copper for the hat and for the hands. Little 3 16 tubing for the arms. You could use quarter inch. Uh, they wrap up that with the nose. And then we take the pennies and they solder a little copper to the pennies. Now you have to use a penny that was made before 1982. Because of the amount of copper, if you tried to do a zinc penny and use a torch against that, well, let's just try that out and see what happens. But don't touch it because it melts really quick. But, and then it, it can get liquidous. Uh, and then if you touch it, it, it kind of sticks to your hand, which will burn you. It'll give you a third degree burn. But they're just using the pennies before 1982, which are copper, and sand it up, clean it, flux it, and soft solder it. Uh, this kid here actually had so much weight with the snowman that he has to brace it again. He had it braced on the top, and now it needs to be re-braced. And uh, we don't just do snowman. Uh, for the Skills USA contest, They've done the state of Virginia. I've had one student do a torch. Uh, we even did an American flag one year. I thought I had some of them back there, but I don't. So if you got any questions about the snowman, shoot me a comment. Uh, or if you think it's a pretty cool little idea, people are like, you should patent this idea. Uh, but I've seen so many people do different things with it for HVAC Excellence. Had one made up one time for one of their accreditation meetings uh, when somebody was coming out to give the site survey. Um, I've seen all kinds of different things with instructors, so I don't think you can. Uh, plus, teachers really aren't in it for the money anyway. They're doing the stuff for more for education and, uh, you know. But uh, if you have uh, any questions about it, leave a comment and uh, I can hit you back. Thanks. Thanks for watching all the videos.